All right, hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And I am super excited to be bringing you this video today. We have some brand new roadmap details that have outlined the next four heroes that we're gonna be getting for Star Wars Battlefront 2. And it does come a little bit early. I was expecting them to announce this at Star Wars Celebration, but they have just dropped an absolute bomb on us. So I'm gonna get into it in just a minute. But before I do, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for all future Battlefront 2 content and future tips and tricks videos as well. If you guys enjoy this video and are excited for new heroes make sure you smash that thumbs up and I will get right into the news anyways so what happened basically was the devs sent out some information to a few of us that have been covering the game and they've given us the next four heroes that are going to be in the game I was personally hoping for a few maps and things but I guess heroes are just as good maps would keep the game fresh I think that's really what they need to be focusing on but I'm never going to say no to new heroes I think with capital supremacy being the popular new game mode that's what they need to focus on and if they can get different eras into that it would be absolutely amazing so if they can reach out and bring us maps from the other eras like the original trilogy and the sequel trilogy that would be fantastic personally i would love to have scarif for the original trilogy map and then maybe something like the battle of jakku for the sequel trilogy map but anyways i've been talking too much i'm gonna get into these new heroes and what we know so far so the first hero that they announced was actually ahsoka tano you guys know how much i love ahsoka and how long i've been waiting for this announcement i'm super happy she is one of my all-time favorite star wars characters so I'm glad they've actually announced that she's going to be put into the game coming in May. So we don't have to wait too long, less than two months until she's going to be added. I really hope some maps come alongside her, but we do have a rough idea of what her abilities are going to be. She is going to have some kind of force push as her left bumper ability. Her acrobat ability is going to be the second ability, which is going to be in the middle. And apparently it's going to be similar to Kylo Ren's frenzy attack, where she's going to be able to jump between multiple enemies. So personally, I think this suits her style of gameplay or how she should play perfectly. She should be acrobatic. She should be jumping between enemies. She should be slashing them down. I think this is a great way to set her up for some cool combos. The third ability that they've given her is going to be called Force Speed. Now, this is going to be something that you guys probably haven't seen a lot of the time, but it is mentioned in the old KOTOR games as one of the abilities for there. So she's basically going to get a 30% speed increase and also a higher and further jump distance. So honestly, I don't think this ability sounds fantastic, but when covering ground or try to escape from enemies, I think it could be really useful and a really good way to help out keeping your kill streak alive. We didn't get any star cards or anything like that, but the second hero does come to counter Ahsoka Tano, and I'm sure you guys can all guess who it's going to be. That's right, Asajj Ventress. This is super exciting. She's another cool character, another dual wielding lightsaber hero that we can get for the dark side on top of already having Grievous. So she is going to have the three abilities that are similar to what I thought. The first one is going to be Poison Dart. We see her use this in the Clone Wars series. The second ability is going to be called Night Sister Assassin. This is basically where she's going to be going cloaked. She's going to be hardly visible for a certain period of time. And during that time, she does get a damage increase as well. This ability sounds sick. It's going to be completely overpowered. I already know there's going to be people complaining about it. It's going to be crazy good, but I'm super excited to test it out. To be honest, this ability could change the game. Having someone go invisible for a period of time, that's ridiculous. But I guess there's a degree to where you could stop her. Maybe she's going to be slightly visible from what it sounds like. So I guess it could still be counted in certain ways. The third ability for Ventress is going to be a force choke and it's not going to be the same as Vader's force choke. Basically, she's just going to lift them up into the air briefly with her force choke and it's going to do a certain amount of damage, which then allows you to follow up for another attack. In other words, it just picks them up immediately instead of hanging them in that choke like Darth Vader's. It's just going to let go of them and they're going to hit the floor. So they're going to be down and ready for that second attack to take them out. Ventress sounds pretty cool, but I'm more excited about this third hero. Now you guys know this has been one of the most requested heroes after Ahsoka and it is Mace Windu. Yes, that's right. My man Samuel L. Jackson. Well, hopefully we get him voiced by Samuel L. Jackson. I don't know if he's still willing to do that or if they have the budget for it, but I think it would definitely be cool if they could get him to do that or possibly the voice actor from the Clone Wars. Anyways, his first ability is going to be called Outburst. This is where Mace Windu is going to shoot a force energy out of his hands in sort of a semicircle direction in front of him. And I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to give him a star card similar to Count Dooku's lightning card where he gets a better spread on that ability. So it gives it a wider range. I think that's something they could do really well with that ability. The right bumper ability is going to be called slam. So in this ability, Mace Windu is going to leap forwards and slam his lightsaber in a forwards direction, taking out anyone that it hits on the way. So I think the movement is going to be similar to what Luke's right bumper ability is with his rush. And then it's just going to be a different type of lightsaber swing that takes out any 
anyone that happens to be in the way of it. This sounds really cool. It sounds like a lot of fun and it's definitely suited to Mace Windu's style. Now the third and final ability is called Shatterpoint. And for those of you that don't know about Shatterpoint, it is a special ability that Mace Windu has and not many people at all that we know about have this ability. Shatterpoint allows Mace Windu to target the weak points of his enemy. So this is gonna give him a damage boost output for a certain amount of time and is also gonna make his lightsaber swings faster. So you're gonna be able to take out enemies extremely quickly with this ability. Not sure how long it's gonna last for, they didn't mention that, but if it does last a decent amount of time, I can see it being really powerful. If it doesn't last long enough, I can see them adding star cards that would definitely help with the time limit. So now that we've got the first three heroes out of the way, I want to announce the fourth hero and this is extremely exciting. That's right guys, we are getting Darth Jar Jar. Yes, that's right. Happy April Fool's Day, everyone. I hope you guys don't hate me for doing this, but I couldn't help myself. I missed out on doing it last year and didn't even realize that it was a thing, but now I thought I had to get in on the action and hopefully I got a few of you guys with this prank. Please don't hate me. Please don't unsubscribe. I still love all of you guys and I'll be back to regular content tomorrow, but I really couldn't help myself. This was just such a good opportunity. I know we're all desperately waiting for new heroes and we all want them that much. I'm part of the community myself as well. I know what it feels like to be hungry for new content. I wish we get new maps in the future. I wish we get new heroes, new reinforcements. I want all the same stuff you guys do, but this was just an opportunity for something lighthearted, which we don't often get to do. So it's something that I thought would be a little bit of fun. And hopefully again, you guys don't hate me. Anyways, I am going to get out of here. I will see you hopefully in the next video. If you guys choose to stick around, I am the Twisted Jedi and may the force be with you always. The Sith are all powerful. You are no match for me.